Hello there, beautiful, amazing, and gorgeous people. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to use PGP encryption, including how to get your own PGP keys, encrypt messages, and decrypt messages. If you don't know what PGP encryption is, go ahead and watch my other video, What is PGP encryption in 3 minutes? Let's get started. In order to use PGP, you first need to get your own PGP keys. So let's do that. There are several ways to get your own PGP keys, but I will show you the simplest way to do it. Go to the following websites. You can find the link in the description below. Type in your email and the password. To learn why you need an email and the password, just hover over the information icons. Once you're done, click on the Generate PGP Keys button. After that, you will have your very own PGP private and public keys. Save your PGP keys somewhere, because if you lose them, you will never be able to get them back. You can always get new keys. Now, let's encrypt the message. To encrypt a message, you first need someone's public key. Public keys can only be used to encrypt messages. Go to the following websites. Enter the public key of the person you want to send the message to. For this example, let's use our own public key because we want to send the secret message to ourselves. Enter the message you wish to hide. In this case, it will be, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Seriously guys, don't forget to do it. Now click on the encrypt message button. There you go. You have now encrypted a message and it's ready to send. Copy the encrypted message and send it to the person who will eventually read the message. Now that we have an encrypted message, we want to decrypt it. How do we decrypt a PGP message? That's easy. Go to the following websites. Enter the private key that we saved earlier, the password, and the encrypted message. Click on the Decrypt Message button. And, ta-da! The message we encrypted with the public key has been decrypted using the private key. PGP is really as simple as that. If this tutorial helped you in any way, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel as you will be helping me to create more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching!